Hey everybody, it's Emily the Crazy Worm Lady. I'm here today for our overwintering worms update. So I did a thing and I bought some alfalfa meal. And the reason that I did that, you know we try to avoid buying things for our worms, um, but it does have a lot of benefits for the garden. And the good thing about that is that it heats up. Um, so my goal and my thought behind this is that if I make a nice big combination of these coffee grounds, these are the coffee grounds that I picked up um, on my way down to the conference last week. This is one of three bags that I was able to snag um, with some alfalfa meal. So I'm going to mix these two um, and I'm going to wrap it in some newspaper. It was suggested to me to kind of make a, a hot burrito out of that. You know, I've made those, you know, burritos. Uh, with food before, but this time I'm going to make it with coffee grounds, alfalfa meal, and wrap it up with some um, bedding that I have. And I'm going to stick it down into the core of uh, the bin that we have outside, and I'm hoping that that will heat up some and keep these guys toasty. We're supposed to have some really cold temperatures kind of starting this week um, consistently in the teens at night and not really getting above 32 during the day. So I really need to up my game to keep these guys alive. So I'm going to get myself organized. I just have these sitting in an old tote right now and I'm gonna mix everything up in here. So I'm gonna get that started and then I will show you guys what I'm doing. All right guys, so I laid out some newspaper in here, three sheets thick, and I'm gonna start filling it with some coffee grounds. Um, when you pick them up from Starbucks, they will give them away to you for free. They give you a mix with their coffee filters, their grounds, they give you a little bit of everything. And um, fresh coffee heats up a lot, but used coffee grounds can also heat up a lot when they're in um, large numbers. Using, using fresh coffee grounds in your bin is not necessarily a good idea because it can also be rather acidic before it gets run through uh, your coffee maker. So I'm just going to really healthily add this in here. Um, it really shouldn't have any issue with be becoming anaerobic. Uh, used coffee grounds are usually okay. I mean, everything in moderation, but we're not going to feed the bin at all. Um, we're just going to add this burrito. And I'm going to add a little bit of my grit mix in here, just because I do want them to have some sort of a source um, for nutrients and, and for grit. It's still going to be important. And lastly, I'm going to add some of this alfalfa meal, and I don't want to dump this all over my floor, so I'm just going to take handfuls out. I really don't know how much it's going to take to heat up, so I'm going to go rather generous on it right now. I'm going to do two large handfuls, see what that looks like. That's a good amount. Whew, dust. And I'm just going to mix this a little bit in here not wet it is lightly moist I might add a little bit more moisture but we are going to be adding some more leaves to the bin today and I think that'll help with the moisture as well but I'm going to do another handful of coffee all right so that's another handful of coffee I'm going to get my water bottle I'll show you guys uh, wrapping this up and moistening it down and then we'll go outside and take a look at the bin all right, so I'm gonna wet this down some with my water bottle. Just to make sure that uh, it'll start breaking down and heating up. It's gonna need, need some moisture. Um, and now I'm gonna wrap this up a little bit. Might not be the most beautiful burrito in the world, but you know what I mean. Just the concept of trying to get this um, in like one big pocket for these guys is what I'm looking for. Doesn't have to be pretty. I'm gonna tuck this under. So that's the new guy making the burrito. That is not how you make a burrito. Um, now I'm going to wet this down even more so that the newspaper is wet down and can be punctured a little bit because I do want to puncture it so that the worms can get into it and that the microbes can get to work um, breaking down the alfalfa. 
So there is some standing water in the bottom here. I'm going to let this sit for a few minutes and absorb some of this moisture. And uh, then we'll pop outside. I also like that this is the box of our alfalfa meal. I like that it's recycled and that they encourage people to recycle it and use it as mulch or in their, their garden compost. So that's a win too. I'm not at all affiliated with them, but there is a link below to this. Um, so I just wanted to show that real quick. All right guys, so I'm losing daylight, so I wanted to get this put in here. Um, I also pulled out a few volunteer worms and I'll throw them in after we add the burrito and take a look. So let's take a look in here. And it had gotten down to 40 in here and I was worried about it, but I haven't done anything and it's back up to around 50. And it was only 40 degrees today. It really hasn't been much warmer than that the last few days. So that's encouraging to me. So I'm gonna peel some of this back and see if we have any worm activity down here. Windy, I'm sorry guys. The noise might be a little difficult to hear me. I'll try my best. So here's some of the food we have in here. And I think that would be a worm. So they look like they're still alive in here. There's several worms actually. And they're into the food, which is exactly what I was hoping for. That they hadn't died off and it doesn't appear that they have. So the mix is looking good. Uh, I'll dig a little bit deeper. Yep, lots of worms all down here in the middle. That is exactly what I was hoping for. So, <clears throat> gonna mix some of these leaves around. I see an orange peel. Thought maybe there might be worms, but it doesn't look like it. My worms have always seemed to like oranges. But it doesn't, doesn't look like much going on. So, I'm gonna dig a nice trench here right in the middle so that it can be like a nice warm core for them because the outside area is going to be where it's going to get cold so if they can stay around the core I think they'll be okay so I'm going to take this burrito that I made and I'm just going to tuck this down in here and I did puncture a few holes in it I'm just going to rip a little bit of holes in the top there and I've got my uh, bag of leaves that I'm working on. I'm going to get some of these out of here. Add some added insulation for these guys. The more uh, material that I have in here, I think the better. It's going to be able to kind of self-insulate. So I definitely want to keep a lot of leaves in here, but these are pretty, pretty dry. Um, but I'm thinking I might go grab my um, water bottle and just sprinkle some water over the top. And I'm going to take our thermometer here and stick this right down in the middle so we can keep an eye on it as it hopefully heats up for us. So I'm going to do that and I'm also going to grab a few of these little guys, get them in the bin, I'll be right back. I told you guys how cold it was out where I had my bag of leaves sitting here on my concrete once again, just like when I started when it was much warmer, there are worms right against the concrete. We know concrete gets relatively cold. We've actually had snow this week. Uh, this past week. It warmed up quickly afterwards, so there's not much snow left, but there's some worms. So it goes to show you how well that the leaves are insulating because these guys are living. So I'm going to throw these guys into the bin. This actually looks like a night crawler of some sort. I haven't put any worms even remotely in this area. Um, this is far from the edge of my driveway. So I'll pop these guys in the bin too. Maybe they'll do a little bit better in there. All right, so I'm gonna give this top layer here a nice good sprinkling. I don't want to 
flood out the bottom or get it anaerobic, but I also want to make sure that everything can break down well, and if it's completely dry, it'll be more difficult to do that. So, I'm just going to water this down real good, give the leaves a little something to soak up. I got all the worms put in here. There's a few of them still right here. And I'm gonna push this down nice and deep so we can keep an eye on it. So, like I said, right now it's 42 degrees out and it looks like it's 54 in here. So I will poke back in on this in a few days and I'll give you guys an update and we will see how this goes. So next part of our experiment now is underway. We're really gonna have to work on keeping it warm. So let me know what you think. Drop those comments below like this video and subscribe if you'd like more content from me and I'll be back with you guys real soon for an update.